The Truth in Great Poem English Truth requires no enforcement. It is the pretenders to it that do. Regimes and religions. Traitors must be killed. Apostates must be beheaded. Adulterers and homosexuals stoned. Why? Because the illusions of the dogmas of statehood and of religion, the pretenders to sovereignty and absolute truth cannot be sustained otherwise. The insecurities of those invested in such illusions translate to righteousness. The violence emanating from which grants a short-lived reprieve to the illusory security of all those that choose to live by anything but the truth, the evidential truth, the no shortcuts evidential truth. There will always be a lazy and powerful majority unless actively freed from their shackles of mind which will happily celebrate the general dyers of eras bygone and of modern times which will energetically defend the killers of Tasir and Bhatti, the would-be killers of Malala, of admittedly barbarous and also of pretentiously cultured societies. Such forces regularly morph into revolutionary and counter-revolutionary ones, always remaining fearful of the collapse of the dogmas of their times, making it difficult for truthers to live out their lives in peace which they yearn yet cannot grant themselves the same through the otherwise simple expedient of turning their back toward the evidential truth, the no shortcuts evidential truth. These forces, however, will necessarily one day die out, only it will grant scant happiness to the truthers for whom it shall be too late or too painful. Truth has a funny way of rewarding its votaries. Perhaps because it doesn't need them and they need it more than lifeblood, paying for their dependence with bloody lives.